Welcome back to the ranch. Today we're going to be testing Underwood item 129 and Underwood item number 128. They're the 38 Special Plus P 125 grain projectiles, XTP, and obviously the bonded jacketed hollow point or the gold dot. These have been available for more than 10 years. They've both gone through extensive testing, but I just wanted to try the XTP version. This is the round over here, item 128, for which I poured my very first homemade gel block a dozen years ago or so now. And I've featured it a couple of times on the channel and they haven't been available for several years. Neither Underwood nor Buffalo Bore nor anybody else that I know of is able to load these other than Spear. Um, they just apparently don't license them. So what's replaced? Underwood item 128 is Underwood item 129, and I'm just going to do a simple chronograph test at first. I'll shoot five of the XTPs and five of the gold dot hollow points, and then I will finally cave in and test the XTPs in my traditional denim and gel block shoot. First, we'll take a close-up look at those hollow points. XTP on the left bonded jacketed hollow point on the right. I really like that gold dot. They uh, they they got better than 50% expansion in my tests and usually penetrated between 14 and a half and 17 inches, depending on the quality of my particular gel block. Let's line up and chronograph the XTPs. You can probably verify my results on a number of different channels. This is mainly for my my own curiosity. I test stuff I'm interested in and I share it with the world on YouTube. I'm gonna get about five feet back and aim for the steel. What does that say? 1,076 feet per second. I'm catching vis visual glare here. 1,060. Boy, through this 13 ounce Ruger, those pack quite a wallop. 1,080. 1,073. And 1,086. Well, they're nothing if not consistent. Review that five shots. We had a high of 1,086, a low of 1,060, and a five shot average of 1,075 feet per second. So maybe these are loaded just a little bit hotter, like it says on the box. 1250 versus the old 1200 for the bonded jacketed. Delete that string, and now we'll load up the good old gold dot projectile, item 128. 1076. 1059. Is that 1041? 1058. And round number five is 1042. So they are definitely slower than the 129s. Okay, let's look at. The high for that was 1,076. I think that's the first one we shot. And the low was 1,041. So that five shot average is 1,055 feet per second. Again, out of the 1.9 inch barrel of the Ruger LCR. Now we'll set up the gel block. I don't have room in this gel block for a true comparison shoot, but I'm gonna try the XTPs, make sure they'll do all right through a four layer denim test. And, uh, I bet the penetration will be absolutely spectacular based on testing I've done with uh, 40 caliber. And even in 380, the XTPs do better than almost anything else. They'll penetrate 12, 13, 14 inches. All right, I believe we've cobbled together a gel block of suitable length. So I'll grab some of those, one of those XTPs, put it through the four layers of denim out of the 1.9 inch barrel if with permission of the yellow jackets i can't wait till it hits 20 degrees out here and kills all these mothers about four feet away 
right down the middle. Oh, <laughs> we have an escape. Yeah, uh, no, it's been captured in the water jug. First of all, let's examine that wound, tra wound track, that wound channel there. Obvious expansion signature right away, right at the beginning of the block. Measure that to the point of escape. We're at a good solid 14 inches. You can see it's dumped denim right where it popped out. 14 and a half, 15 inches. It's gone through a good amount of gel, but we did capture it in the water jug backer. So it's down there at the bottom. We'll pull that out of there. Here's the issue that I have. This is why I prefer the gold dots or the, I'm sorry, bonded jacketed hollow point. That's not even worth putting the caliper on. We got the gel block cooled off again. Try one more time to capture this. 38 Special Plus P 125 grain XTP bullet loaded by Underwood. Ruger LCR 1.9 inch snub nose barrel. Got it. Yes. Success. Success at last. Definitely captured it this time. Actually kind of looks like a little bit better expansion. Right at the back of that 17 inch shell column. We'll take it out and put the caliper on it. It's still an XTP bullet. It's still all mangly and ugly. Not like that beautiful gold dot from the item 128 or for that matter, like the Fiocchi's or the Remington's. It's ugly, but here we have something we can put the calipers on at least. Uh, that's surely the widest. 60, 60 caliber. So I guess that would work, you know. It's got good muzzle energy. Good penetration. Mangly as sin, ugly expansion. 52. It is what it is. Unless I can get those bonded jacketed hollow points back from Spear Gold Dot. This is probably the best you're going to be able to get. But I wouldn't choose this with all the extra recoil over a... Remington Golden Saber or a Fiocchi Covert X. That's just too ugly. Nice expansion signature, though. That's been our review of Underwood Item 129, the 38 Special Plus P 125 grain XTP. Loaded crazy hot, but unfortunately, you're just getting a whole lot of extra recoil. This is Dave from Discreet Defense Ranch. Have another great week.